so here I am in Regina. It's a pretty fantastic place. Oh, I'm on my place. way today in Regina. I'm going to uh, go and visit Alec. Well, hello digital world and analog world at the same time. I am here on the beautiful campus of the University of Regina and I just had the chance to meet with Alec and it was just a lovely coffee and London ginger fog which is really funny because I saw yesterday that he had it on Twitter and then he ordered it today. I'm like, wait a minute, I know what you drink because I follow you on Twitter which is uh, kind of the hilarious little bits of information that you get to have about people. But it's those little bits of information that you get about people that make people real. It, it, it shows, shows you in this online world that there's actually an analog self that exists and orders London Fog tea and goes to this lovely campus and uh, makes time for his students to uh, sit down and have one of the coffee. questions that I've been wondering about my own video blog um, has been why I feel it's necessary to let you know who I am in as great a capacity Making as possible. Making sure that in these online spaces we create a self that's um, that's authentic also that is um, kind of multifaceted because really uh, nobody really likes boring people as far as I can tell anyway and if you're only one-dimensional um, you really end up being less interesting than those people that share more of themselves with you in these In reading Richard Schwier's article, Pursuing the Elusive Metaphor of Community in Virtual Learning Environments, again, I came across that idea of community and trust. And for me, I think it's quite important to be able to trust the person that you are learning beside, learning with, uh, learning from, in order to allow the information that's coming to you uh, a, a, a fair shot at becoming a part of how you see the world. Is that the people that teach me are as important as, as the sub. And without some kind of level of trust, I'm going to have a difficult time accepting the lessons that you have to teach me. And so, and I believe that this is also important with this, with our fellow students. And in a analog classroom, uh, we would run into each other in the hallway, perhaps we would sit next to each other, perhaps I would borrow your notes when I was sick. Uh, but in this digital classroom, I think that we have to make a different kind of effort. One of the other things that came up for me in Schreer's article uh, is that sense of community building and intimacy. I would really like to create an opportunity for some deep connection to happen uh, between myself and other individuals who are very interested in post-secondary uh, education. And so in the hopes that you'll get to know me better, I'm going to show you some shots of my week here in Regina. It's been absolutely a fabulous late summer and I've really enjoyed my time here with my friends. I'll see you all in class. Yellow is a friend of mine. Why 
seven seven.